Okay, we're Rusvi at this time. Patriotic. I got a um I worked out a new Rusvi at Patriotic not too long ago. I might uh I might show you guys. At least it's new for me. Sometimes you make something in this game and you're like, yes! Brand new. This is different. And then, you know, someone else does it too. So tier list time. We got Albion Industrial in this game. They are F tier. We, we are Rust Fiat Patriotic at A tier. We have Tagawa Agricultural at C tier and Saxony Mechanical at B tier. Rust Fiat Patriotic is high A tier. So this is a game we should win. Tell me you're going to use the opening I showed you in our match. Hey, Tom Craven, was that... Was that the first game tonight? Oh, you know what would be nice is if I took down the tier list after telling you guys about it. Trade for wood twice. <laughs> Didn't miss much. Albion moved. I produced. Gawa traded for oil. It's actually mechanical is one of those slower boards. I usually produce, trade for two oil, upgrade, produce, trade for two oil, and upgrade. And then I've got an upgraded move, an upgraded bolster. My mechs cost one. Then I go get my encounter. Love to see somebody do something better than that in one of these games so I could copy them. Because I feel like I feel like I haven't been able to improve upon it, but that it leaves something to be desired. There's a trade for two metal. Probably gonna go to uh produce deploy. Do we get a produce out of Tagawa here, or do they move first? Oh no, they're uh, they're agricultural. They're gonna move. I have a three-minute Tagawa agricultural video in this playlist. Oh, Tagawa's still deciding what to upgrade. Gonna go for the enlists. Takes it to Saxony. Either move or bolster and deploy. Bolster first. I try not to do too much head bobbing to the music because the YouTube viewers can't hear it. I, uh, when I started adding music to the streams, I just exported the video straight from Twitch right over to YouTube. And one thing that people like to do because it speeds up the videos and because I talk slowly is to speed up the videos when they're watching them on YouTube. And I'll tell you what, it is the weirdest experience to speed up a video that has music in the background. It's absolutely terrible. So I actually, I, I don't bring the music over to, over to YouTube. Another produce out of Saxony. Do they start it the same way I do? what Albion Industrial does here. I played Albion Industrial the other day and I didn't really have a prayer so I just rushed the factory and then bobbed around the board with my factory card 
and I came one turn away from winning. It was, it was glorious. <laughs> I ended it. I uh, let Crimea end it for second, or uh, I was second. When Crimea Mechanical's in the game and you're Albion Industrial, if it's not a bid game, it's just, it's rough. All right. Albion, take the, take the recruit, right? And the combat cards. Yeah. Take the coin recruit, take the combat card. Saxony has no mechs out. I have no mechs out. You know we're going to build mechs. That coin recruit is worth 11 coins to you. No question. Got to take it. Three mechs of yours and eight of ours. Ugh. Oh. All right, guys, so I traded for oil last time so that I could do this. And it doesn't really matter where you move him. And upgrade. And that gives me an upgraded move, and I upgrade my deploy. So what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to produce, I'm going to get to eight workers, have enough metal to build a river warp mech. Now I have three moves, so I'm going to move another worker down here move the remaining five workers to one of these farms and the character either down here or up here to an encounter. It actually... It's not better than the fastest uh, Rusviet Patriotic that I knew of previously. It's not faster, but it involves an upgraded move action. And it has a tiny bit more spread than that one. So, you should go back and watch the video from last game and see what that opening was. Because that, uh, Symphonis played a, a really good game with that, uh, Rusviet Patriotic. He was out on the board really quickly. Had all the resources he needed. Just went around the board harassing everybody. Tagawa's upgraded there. They're enlist again, so now they can produce enlist, produce enlist. So Saxony can either build the mech here, or they can go ahead and upgrade one more time, and then build the mech. Benefit to building the mech now is that you could go get the encounter before you get the upgrade. And then who knows, maybe you get an upgrade and it saves you a turn. Push the encounter on turn three, do it later, and now possibly skip it entirely. This music's become almost scythe like, hasn't it? Like hip hop scythe. All right, here comes the produce out of Tagawa. This is actually a lot like my three minute tutorial on Tagawa Agricultural. I don't know if they're pulling from it or doing their own thing, but it's very similar. You trade oil, you get in this position. Although, taking a risk by not putting a trap here. Because if I remember correctly with the opening I use, you don't move again for a while. Gonna take three uh three wood and build a mine. Combat card and a pop? That was so quick. What were the other options? It was three resources. And uh what was the third one, guys?
You remember? Okay, Albion's rushing the factory. Good for him. You got to do something when you're Albion Industrial. You got to get some sort of factory card to try to supplement your economy. Looks like he's going to go for enlist. It's just so hard to make them worth it. With the industrial board, specifically with Albion. All right, here comes Tagawa's first enlist. Going from zero power to three. Gawa Agricultural can totally get the, the power star. All right. I think Saxony's going to trade for his two oil and grab his upgrade. All right, so it's move. Let's go up here. Uh, no, nah, I don't want. I don't want to have to think about Saxony. But let's take this so that if Albion. May be able to snag a cheap combat off of Albion depending on what he does. Okay, so this situation came up in the last Rusty at Patriotic game, and I think it was Kaz who pointed out that you could pay two popularity to enlist the recruit, grab two pop, and then as long as you picked up the other encounter you would have three pop, which would be enough to do three total produces, which means you could do the last enlist without producing because you're overproducing food. But that's still the same number of actions. You're just, right? I'll do this instead. Make these guys even cheaper. Tagawa's not making mechs. This spot is completely safe this game. No, you cut an action because you can move before the last produce to get workers to village. But I already have the eight worker star. All right, Saxony gets the upgrade now, right? Trades for two oil. Yeah, I may be missing something, but... All right, Albion. Nope, he's going to move. <laughs> Leaving a trail of flags as he goes. Uh... All 
Okay. The food on the ground in two different places, so let's go ahead and get this. Enlist recruit. I get popularity just because I'm going to need it in a second. And no one's I'm not at risk of being attacked, and I'm talking on stream, so I don't want to forget to get the popularity next produce. That would be unfortunate. In before Tagawa's second enlist. Bodes well for combat cards. Yeah, he did he did upgrade last time. Now he's got underpass. I'm glad I took them to this back line here. Because it would force me at this point to get another mech. Boy, the theme of tonight has been good combat cards. I know you guys can't see them, but they're good. They're very good. So let's see here. We are going to have enough for all of our mechs shortly. We're going to make five, so that'll put us at seven. We'll spend three, that'll be four. So we still have to produce twice more. Albion's going to get combat cards early. There's the another good combat card. And yes, they picked up combat cards. So you do overproduce metal a little bit with this uh, with this strat and this worker setup. The reason we're, we've overproduced so much metal though is because we uh, we got the oil off that encounter and got another upgrade applied to it. Typically, it's just like one too much metal. Not, what's it going to be, four? Four metal we don't need? Oh, Saxony is going to get a pretty cheap combat, it looks like. Seven power to Albion's two, and some free oil. Electing to leave all the, the workers home, though. Gawa, not a particularly attractive target. With all that power over there, not compared to Albion. Saxon can guarantee this one for seven. Any of those five cards are good. In good shape. Oh, but he bluffs. Bluffs hard. Albion wants that factory card. They have to say down here. Saxony says that hurt. Yes. 
Yes, it did. Played me like a fiddle. I thought with all that power, I thought Sax would. I mean, maybe Sax's cards are all bad. Maybe he has despised Warmonger or something like that. I would have thought. I would have thought he'd guaranteed that one. I've been thinking about this move a lot. Round 10 on the factory. Tagawa up there with tier 2 popularity in 24. So we have an upgraded bolster. We have 2 power to take off an endless bonus. That's 4 plus 3 max is 16, right? Are we just going to get the power star just like that? No, three, six, nine, eleven, and we could bolster our way to the power star and get some coins. Albion with two stars. Combat and the objective. We'll, uh, let's do this one more time. Um, both Tagawa and Albion have some oil on the ground. <laughs> Saxony is usually more bluff than something. Yeah, this is like exactly my Tagawa agricultural opening. So that puts us at four power. If we make three more mechs, that'll put us at 13 power, right? And then if we decide to bolster one more time to get the power star and three more coins, we can do that. <laughs> I was hoping you would think, he won't bluff here. I only have two power. But no, it would it would have fooled me. I would have been fooled. But the cost of getting sent home for Albion would have been high there, no doubt. All right. Next max now. Speed. The Gawa can pr produce in three different places right now. It's their power situation. Oh yeah, they're building now. Uh, we're going to have to do something about Tagawa, guys. Ooh. Saxony's going to get some stars here. A lucky CC draw. Well, that's the thing about bluffing, calling Saxony's bluff. 
if they come right back. Don't have a way to call the bluff. Oh, he said he got some lucky CC draw CCs. What was Albion's factory card? Ooh, they got an enlist factory card. They have popularity for an enlist or an upgrade, and they already have, well, they have just the one enlist. Saxony learned their lesson about bluffing Albion. I want one more mech. Do I want one more mech? Yes, yes I do. Sugawa cannot produce here. So this right here is going to get them a lot of points. They can produce next turn, and we have sent one back as a warning. But we actually benefit from sending these workers home because we're not going to get into tier two. There's just no way. Tribution. Yes, Saxony got you back. Plus, point wise, economy wise, right now, Tagawa is the biggest threat. Believe it or not. Saxony could end the game quicker than Tagawa. Saxony's got very little. Very little power. I'm weak sauce now. Well, hopefully for him, he has some good objectives. Plus, he's got an upgraded bolster. He's gonna be gonna be back very quickly. We need to get the township mech. And then if we want, we can go, if Saxony's still there, we can attack him on the factory and then bump these Tagawa workers. Oh, I don't like Albion potentially giving Saxony stars, cheap stars. don't like it at all we need this game not to end in like turns <laughs> just give us give us the 15 turns now Albion takes this one and uh, Saxon can't get back there easily all right one more Mac we said township right Gives us another amazing card. Saxony is going to be at five power. Probably pick up the disarm mech if I had to guess. All right, guys. Look at our cards. I mean, isn't that gross? 
I know it's not the best ever, but pretty good. All right, now we have township. Let's do this. Uh. Not going to leave anything to chance on the, on the factory there. No one can really reach us. And they can get send one back as a warning. And we have successfully disrupted Tagawa's economy. could attack us, right? I want a rematch. Of course. Start to bring the the workers out, not going to attack us without Saxony. They can move. And only hit us with one right here. Alpian can triple attack us, but they have zero cards and zero power. Saxony and Albion just have nothing to work with right now. Yonage, thank you, sir. I do not know why it does not put a notification on the screen for a converting from a prime gaming sub to a tier one sub, but thank you so much. Do appreciate it. Usually it puts a notification on the screen for subs, the way I set it up. Guessing since you already had the, like I said, since you already had the Twitch Prime, can do it. Get out on the board, Sax. So I mean we don't have to move again unless somebody shakes something up. Tagawa with 22 coins. Lion high. Grab two oil there. 
Yawa looking like a pretty solid second right now. How do you finish things? Enlists are ready, mechs too, so what's the third? Power? Yeah, power or combat. I, I mean... Power and enlists. I don't have my last enlist yet, so... What's Saxony do? Produced. Gonna grab enlist. Got the mechanical board, so... That works, I guess. Albion probably going to if if no one attacks, we'll just get the power star, I guess. It's it's two turns either way. Didn't let me in turn. That's odd. So this setup, this uh, sequence can end in fifteen. It wasn't because we. Uh, If we had gone for two combats instead of one combat and taking an extra turn out for the power star. That cost us a turn. Yeah. The extra coin is certainly nice. Igawa going with another upgrade decides not to attack us. May mean they don't have a five. We were just far and away the best combo in this game. And things were looking pretty good for, um, for Tagawa, but decided to take a, take a turn to slow them down, which is a little bit mean, but they would have actually been a threat um, the way they were playing, they were playing well. And we had Sin one back with a warning, so kind of was in our best interest to just go ahead and do it. We weren't going to go to tier two, so we weren't just being a bully. I'll be in just two coins down. Albion's going to take second place. All they have to do is move on to some of these territories. They've got their triple move. They can move here, here, and here. Add six points off territories. I mean, after getting stepped on repeatedly by Nordic, finishing for second would be really good for them. Okay, they chose to use the gonna do it unless they spin coins. Unless they spin coins to get an upgrade and forget to lay a trap, but they're not going to. All right.
He took two food and a pop, right? Gotta push the buttons. It working, Rimba? I mean, it looks like he has the tiebreaker. Oh yeah, those two oil were worth a coin, so he's accepted them. Something's accepted the oil, it's just not showing up on our screen yet. Well, he's got four minutes and 43 seconds to end this turn, I guess. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Yep. Albion pulls out second by the skin of his teeth this game. In game rounds, good game. Oh, he just forgot to hint in. All right, good game, guys. What do you think? One more tonight. I think I'm down for one more. <laughs>